do we shape the future? Where did we come from? Is there anyone out there? He has unraveled some of the greatest mysteries of the universe, and in his final book, Stephen Hawking takes on ideas larger than the universe itself. Brief Answers to the Big Questions brings together some of his final writing before his death in March. Its launch was celebrated at the Science Museum in London, where he received a fellowship on his 70th birthday. Hawking enthralled the world with his groundbreaking work on black holes and cosmology, and in his final months he wrote how science and technology can both revolutionize and destroy our lives. This is very much a book of predictions. In it, Stephen Hawking says that humans will soon colonize other planets, that machines will overtake humans when it comes to intelligence, and perhaps most controversial of all, that genetic modification will lead to a dangerous race of superhumans. His children, Tim and Lucy, helped the book come to fruition, and they say it was a chance for their father to set out his views in his own words and leave an engaging perspective for people in a rapidly changing world. My father's ultimate goal in writing this book is to um, give a sort of call to unity. He was very, very concerned that as a society we were becoming more and more divided, that we were finding more and more things to put between ourselves and other human beings. And I think it's a reflection of his essential humanity and his belief in human beings, that he wanted to put out this call to say, look, we are one planet, we are one human race. The challenges we face are global, they're big, the climate change, all these other issues that you see, hear him reference. Um, we need to come together, we need to cooperate. Among the problems, Despite his warnings over the calamity that things like climate change and unchecked artificial intelligence could bring, he leaves the reader with a final message. So remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Unleash your imagination. Shape the future. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera, London.